Hey, kia ora, Helen Brown's coming to you live a little earlier today than normal, but um, we've got an action-packed ev well, action evening with um, family so this evening, so I wanted to get on before it got too late, because um, we're going to be leaving shortly to go meet with um, family for dinner. Uh, so where in the world, or actually where in New Zealand am I today? Today I am in a little town called Thames, which is at the base of the Coromandel Peninsula. And this town is rich with history. And when I say rich, I mean rich. It's um, It used to be a gold mining town many years ago. And there is a um, an amazing museum here that takes you through... Um, the history of mining, how you mine for gold, that sort of thing. And there's even gold mines here that you can walk through as well and get guided tours through. And I remember years ago, um, the guide that we had take us through the gold mine was my great uncle's brother. So that was kind of cool um, to do that. And that was like, like I said, eons ago. <laughs> but we're in this gorgeous hotel, um, motel and um, we spent the day driving up from Hamilton. We stopped off in Pyroa. And if you look at my, I know I've done it on Instagram. I can't remember if I've done it on Facebook. If I haven't, I will put them up later today um, where we stopped at Pyro and we looked at the huge giant bottle of LMP that they have sitting there. Um, got some pictures of Casey Kiwi and Three Gus at the base of the bottle just to give you some idea of perspective. Um, then we went to the Courtyard Cafe and Delicatessen and OMG, I had this raw raspberry slice. Um, there's going to be a picture, if it's not already on my Facebook page, there will be a picture of it later on. But it was a layer that had um, dates and I'm not sure if it had nuts or seeds. But then they had a layer of raspberry stuff and then they had chocolate on top. And the whole thing was about this thick. It was so good. Um, my dad reckoned he could taste the dates in it. Mum reckons the raspberry was nice and strong. For me, it was a perfect balance of each layer in one mouthful. Um, and so there's pictures of that um, coming if they're not already there. But they are on my Instagram account. So check that out there um, at Have to, have to Travel. Um, then after Pyro, we actually went for a walk around the town and it was really cool. Um, stopped in at a couple of um, op shops. Um, let's see, op shops, thrift stores, secondhand places, those sorts of things, and just browsed through them, um, had a look at um, some books that they had there and that sort of thing, and it was just quite, quite nice just strolling around the town, and then we moseyed our way on over to where we are tonight, which is Thames, and um, we stopped off at the Totara Memorial Park to visit my great aunt and uncle's um, grave and to see... Um, I had my dad's cousin passed away last year, so we got to see um, her visit her as well, where she's buried with her husband. And then we went over and found um, another one of my great aunts who passed away, oh, is either 17 or 16? Might have been 15. I can't remember when she passed away, but we found, um, found where she was. And while we were looking for her, we found my great, great uncle, who my dad wasn't even, um, wasn't even aware was, um, buried there. So that was kind of cool to be able to do that. Um, you know, I love genealogy and I love going to cemeteries and I love reading. I don't know, maybe it's a macabre thing in me, but I love going to cemeteries. I love reading tombstones. Um, Finding, cemetery, uh, finding cemeteries where relatives are and going and finding their graves. I love that. It just sort of makes me feel like I have a more of a personal connection to relatives when I can find them, um, find where they're, they're laid to rest and that sort of thing too. So um, it was kind it was, it's not really funny, but it kind of is. When we stepped out of the car, I, I noticed his headstone and I just started clapping and my dad clapped as well. And I said, well, it said there, clap. And right on the back of this tombstone, it had C-L-A-P-P, -P, clap. That was the name of the people's tombs, a grave that was right there. So I clapped. Not sure if I was supposed to or not, but there was nobody else around. I figured it says clap. I'm going to clap. Um, you know, I love I love cemeteries. They're nice. They're peaceful. They're restful. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous view from up there. And I totally forgot to take a photo of the group, of the views. I was too busy taking photographs of relatives' headstones. Um, but gorgeous view. The tide was out and it just looked fantastic from up there at the at the park. So we got to the hotel and it's a gorgeous hotel. Uh, sorry, motel. I keep forgetting. Motel, hotel. These are motels that we're staying in in New Zealand. So what's the difference between a hotel and a motel? A motel has external entrances. 
is um, and you're all into different rooms and stuff we've got a beautiful one bedroom motel unit here um, the car is parked right outside the door my parents um, have gone for a walk down the track that takes them right down to the main street here in Thames um, I thought it was going to be downhill they said it's not and so I just wanted to relax do my Facebook live read for a little bit um, and I didn't really want to walk any hills today um, but no it's been good it's um, a great day and tonight we get to go and spend some time with my dad's cousins um, and catch up with them I haven't seen them since 2006 so yeah, it's been, a, it's been a few years since I've seen them, so it'll be good to catch up with them. But I am absolutely loving this trip so far because I'm catching up with so many family members. Um, some people, I can't remember the last time I saw them. Um, when we get up to um, Auckland, I'm going to be meeting up with cousins I haven't seen since, some since 2006, some are going to be longer since I've seen them. These are first cousins. Um so it's going to be almost like a mini family reunion, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> and some I haven't seen since before they got married and they're now married with kids. Uh, some I haven't seen since they were um, teenagers and they're now married with kids. Um, it's um, I'm just really enjoying the time to take to connect, reconnect with family and it kind of bring home it brings home just how important, sorry, just how important family really is and to be able to wrap your arms around your family members and um, just say hi, I love you, um, I appreciate you, um, thank you for inspiring me or it's great to see you again, um, just stuff like that, to be able to do that has just been awesome um, and uh, hopefully I'll won't let those connections fall on the wayside again, the same we're in contact with people. Um, being on Facebook has helped reconnect with family, but there's nothing like being in person and actually talking face to face with them. So I'm really enjoying that side of the connection with them. So that's it from me. I'm off to go visit family now as I think we are. Oh, not back yet. Still got a couple of minutes, probably a couple of minutes before they get back. Um, but I am now off to um, go visit family as soon as my parents get back and um, have an awesome evening. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, go meet up with family that you haven't seen for. Go reconnect with family members and just hug them and say I love you. Or if you're not in a visit, not in a close by environment, at least pick up the phone, give them a call, send them a message, something just to say hi. I was thinking about you. Um, you know, family is important. Um, you get a lot of strength from family. And I kind of lost my way with my own family on that portion and with some of the connections that I have. So it's really cool to make those connections again. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Like I said, I'm off. And tomorrow I am in a new location. So tune in tomorrow to find out where I will be tomorrow because it's going to be awesome. Catch you all later. Heck on era.